All right, so this is going to be the chosen site for the new compost area. Not really exciting. It's right by the fence. Ideally, you walk around the compost and get the fence in and out of here or whatever. Um, I think it's going to be okay. It'll be out of the way if there's something long, but if it's really long, we can just go over the fence, over the top. But ideally, the compost will go right here. So again, the garden here somewhere, and the compost barrel will go here. Okay, this is the second day. Last night I dug the holes into the dark, <clears throat> and this morning I have mixed concrete and placed the 4x4s in the concrete, and then drilled the holes, which I didn't film any of this stuff, but that's all right. It doesn't matter. You get the idea. And the barrel will sit, uh, I know I've seen a lot of them sit long ways. This one will sit up and down. <clears throat> but there's the new landing for the barrel. That pole may be cut to length. I think it'd be really cool to put a some kind of strange steering wheel on there. And so I haven't cut the length yet. <clears throat> but um, and you may be able to hang tools or something, I don't know. So I, I don't want to I don't feel like cutting it yet, that's the size I bought it in, but there you have it. It sits in the ground like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then uh, basically you rotate the barrel every so often every couple of days. I'm hoping for a twenty one day um, compost. We'll see. Here's the barrel to be used. Um, these are the tools I had to mix the concrete in. This is a great concrete mixer, as well as a perfect bench to sit on. And so I'm going to put the holes into the barrel that the that will the pole will ride on. <clears throat> I'm going to do it about 18 and a half inches, and uh, we'll check it out after I'm done. Okay, there's the hole. I'm sure that's not really that impressive. But one has learned a valuable lesson when um, working on the back patio of a uh, new place to live. When you exit the dog poop and throw it on the patio and then rub it in the barrel, <laughs> try not to also step in it because somebody didn't throw it off the patio. Um, that'd be me. But now the barrel has holes and I think it's going to be just fine. It should rotate on this. I tried to put it center, which means it's going to be a little bit of a tug when this is full. I'm hoping to put a rubber grommet of some kind around the pole or some kind of seal, sealer so it doesn't just spin around and let the dirt fall out. But um, I don't see the harm in the dirt falling out because it's aerated anyway. But ideally, these holes are right on the seam, and I don't think that's such a good idea. But I'm willing to take the risk because the handle would be here, so if it's on the pole, like so, then uh, you'd be able to grab the handle and just sort of spin it around. Um, we'll see. Should be kind of a fun, it's a sort of fun project, right? So it'll go on the barrel. I mean, the barrel will go on the pole when the concrete is dry, and I will have a composting barrel, and I hope to figure out a way to make it happen fast within 21 days. Uh, starting it. So we'll see. Good luck. All right. Okay, there's the finished product. So the barrel sits on the pole. Take the compost. Oh, whoops, I forgot to open the lid. Basically, open the lid. It'd be nice to have somewhere to maybe hang it or hook it or something like that. That'll be the next step, probably. And dump the compost. of goodness coming out of there, bugs and stuff. Yay. Yuck. So, basically, what will happen now on a hot summer day? It even, it even kind of warms up now, even in the middle of uh, January, or the beginning of January. Basically, you put the lid on tight, <sighs> give it a good snug thing. The handles are here, so you can grab maybe the other one over here, and just give it a good rotation. So it 
seems to be all right. It's not quite balancing something. I'm not sure why. Oh, maybe it's hanging up on the bar in the middle. I don't know, but... Seems to work fine. So, the next thing is to make up the lethal combination of uh, compost so that we can get a rapid 21-day compost. Uh -huh. I do just a little bit of homework. Uh, perfect mixture. Some guy in the Philippines, of course they have different weather than we do. This guy in the Philippines has discovered a way to um, make it happen a little faster. So, ideally we'll put a garden in, in this back wall and it'll come out and use up all of that space there. Uh, this whole side of the tree is going to be removed. Make way for more sunlight for more food. Hopefully stuff we'll be able to eat for a while. And the other, the other thing that's interesting is that um, we had a grapevine five years ago or something, six years ago when we moved here. I planted down there that covers the entire fence. And uh, I think I'll put a few more along the fence or some other kind of coverage because I hate looking, I hate looking in the alley and I hate having people be able to look in. And I mean, people trump the garbage off and what are you going to do about it? So I would like very much to cover this all up with some kind of thing that grows along here. And I hope to use the runoff from this rain gutter and catch it here in this barrel and have a permanent line that just will be a constant drip feed that will feed the grapes or whatever we decide to put on there. And um, so, and even if it gets empty, I can just fill it with the hose and it'll see something I don't have to worry about until it's gravity fed until it's done. So it's an idea. It's all for now. Like the compost barrel? Woohoo! I love it. I think it's gonna work. We're gonna saw off those handles on that bar and maybe put in a, a steering wheel so it'd be easier to rotate.